Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my second video in my Cricut series. So the first Cricut video I did, I did an unboxing of the Joy Extra machine and I set it up and shared with you guys exactly how easy the process is to get this machine started and start making your own DIYs. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my honest review of the Joy Extra now that I've had it for about a month. Also, I want to say thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Now, if you've watched any of my videos over the years, then you've probably seen me make dozens of projects with my Cricut machines. I actually have the Cricut Maker, and then I also have the Cricut Joy. So this is the smallest machine. And then now I also have the Cricut Joy Extra, which is it does everything that the Joy can do, but a little bit more. And you're also able to make stickers with this machine, which you cannot do with the Joy. This one has the feature to do print and cut. So I love doing DIYs. I have made so many homemade gifts, party decor, home decor, shirts, you name it. I've been able to make it with my Cricut machines. Okay, so let's get into the review really quick. So this is the joy extra and like i said it can do everything that this little joy can do but it can do some bigger projects it can do the print and cut feature um so you can make stickers like i said but it's still very lightweight which i love because you can take this and you can set it up anywhere so maybe you don't have like a craft space to have everything set up and you want to do some diys and you're like well i have nowhere to store this stuff or i have nowhere to craft well, this little machine can be stored on a shelf or in a cabinet and you can easily pull it in and out because it's so lightweight, set it up on your kitchen table and get to crafting there and then it's easy to pick up and clean up when you're done. Um, also, if you are doing like a ladies craft night or something or you're wanting to do some DIYs and it's not in your house, it's very easy to pack up in like a little bag and take it with you because it's so super lightweight and it's not very big. Another great thing about the Cricut Joy Extra is the price. So I feel like it's very budget friendly. The Cricut Maker is going to be your most expensive machine, which is actually the Cricut Maker 3, which is the version that's on sale on the website now. But the Cricut Maker 3 is going to be your most expensive machine, but it also is your most advanced cutting machine. Right below that is going to be the Cricut Explorer, which I don't have that one, but that one can do pretty much the same things as the Cricut Maker. Um, but this one obviously has some extra features that it can do that all the other machines cannot. Um, and then your mo your least expensive machine is the Cricut Joy, but as you can see, you're limited on size of project that you can do with the Cricut Joy. You can still do a lot of fun stuff with this one, um, but you're just limited on the amount of si the size of the project. Then you've got your Cricut Joy Extra, and for the price, I feel like you can do so many different projects. All the projects that I did this past month were all made with this machine, and I was able to do a ton of stuff. Basically, the normal everyday projects that I do anyways, I was able to do with this machine. Now, if I wanted to make a huge sign, it would probably be a little bit more difficult, and I'd want to use a bigger machine, but for most of my everyday DIYs, I love the Cricut Joy Extra. So this last month, I made a ton of different DIYs with my Joy Extra machine. We had Valentine's Day and we had several other events that I wanted to make DIYs for and they all turned out so cute. So when I was doing these DIYs this past month, I actually used several different materials just to make sure I tested out all of my favorite types of projects to make. So one of my favorites to use is iron-on vinyl. So for that, I made some sweatshirts for cheerleading. I made one for myself, one for my daughter. And then I also made my daughter a personalized garment bag for her cheer uniform. And then I also used permanent vinyl to make a cup for my daughter. I personalized a little hair clip. And I also made some fun keychains for her and her cheer sister. And then I also cut some cardstock, which I love to do whenever I'm making little flags or cards, things like that. So that's what I use the cardstock for. But I think that my favorite thing that I made this past month were these stickers. So I've got some regular everyday stickers that kind of feel like cardstock paper. 
And then I also made some other stickers that are waterproof, so my daughter could actually use these to stick on her water bottle. Now, I have used stickers in the past. I've done the cut and print feature on my Cricut Maker machine before, and I've made lots of different types of stickers in the past, but I've never done the waterproof stickers. So, I did make sure to get onto YouTube before I started that project just to get a little tutorial. And if you're ever like nervous about a project or you don't know how to do something, Cricut has a ton of videos on their website, but then also there are a bunch of YouTubers that make nothing but DIY videos and they share tons of different types of Cricut tutorials. So I love going on their pages, seeing what kind of DIYs they're making, or even like I said, searching up a particular topic like how to make printable waterproof stickers with my Joy Extra. So like I said, the stickers were probably my favorite project from this past month. It was just so much fun and it was really easy. Basically, I just went into my design space on my computer and I searched the images for whatever stickers I wanted to make. So these were just images within design space and then I would turn those images into a print and cut so that way it would turn into a sticker. And of course you need sticker paper for it to actually be a sticker. The Cricut sticker paper is amazing by the way. It was so much fun because my kids love stickers so I found a few different baseball stickers for my son that I could make. I saved those. I haven't made them yet. But with Valentine's Day coming up I was looking for some Valentine's Day stickers so Gracie June could hand those out to her friends at school. And then I also wanted to make some cheer stickers because I knew that she would love to put those on her water bottle and that was part of her Valentine's Day little surprise with some cheer stickers to put on her personalized water bottle. And then I also looked up, my daughter and her friends are very into the preppy stickers and, or preppy in general, the preppy theme. And her friend has a birthday party coming up and she's doing a preppy cowgirl theme. So I started looking up some stickers to make for her birthday that we could print and cut and put into her gift for her to use on her own water bottle. So I was able to find lots of different images. I just put them into Cricut Design Space. I saved ones that I wanted to do for later, sent them to the printer, and then cut them out using the Cricut Joy Extra. So as you can see, I have been able to make so many different DIYs with this machine. And honestly, the amount of projects that I've done this past month, if I would have gone and bought them off of somewhere like Amazon or Etsy, I probably would have spent at least the same amount on those items as the machine cost itself. So I definitely feel like it's worth it. Also, speaking of Etsy, I feel like you could even make your own little business. So if you're looking to make some extra income, getting a Joy Extra Cricut machine would be such a great way to do some at-home DIYs and then turn around and sell them on Etsy and create your own little business. All right, so honestly, I think that the Cricut Joy Extra is probably my new favorite cutting machine, my new favorite Cricut cutting machine, just because of how lightweight and versatile it is. And I can do most of the projects that I want to do just with this machine. So I can move it around. I can take it from room to room. I can take it to my friend's house if we want to do some DIYs together. So I really, really love this machine and I highly recommend it to anyone who is maybe a beginner or looking for a budget-friendly option or just doesn't have a whole lot of room to do crafting, this is going to be the machine for you. Okay, so let me know any questions that you have about the Cricut Joy Extra down in the comments. Let me know if you have this on your wish list or even if you have it already, let me know what you think about it too because I'm sure that other people would love to hear your feedback and reviews on this machine as well. I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.